Good evening and thank you for joining us at 11. I'm Nancy Cox. Kevin Christopher has the night off. Yesterday, two more people were indicted in connection with the November murder of two Clark County teenagers. That makes a total of eight defendants in the situation. One of them, who still hasn't been arrested, called our newsroom tonight saying he's being wrongfully accused. Carolina Buchek spoke with him. That's the LEX 18, big story at 11. I was watching the LEX 18 news. Two of whom hadn't faced charges before. And I saw that Brian McIntosh and another person was indicted on charges of injury. That's how Brian McIntosh says he found out he was facing charges. McIntosh called LEX 18 tonight saying the police have the wrong guy. They keep harassing me over something I had nothing to do with, and every time they try to find something on me, they can't find nothing because I had nothing to do with it. But a grand jury decided otherwise. McIntosh is charged with hindering the apprehension of Matthew Carmen, who police say was one of the people who fired shots the night Kayla Holland and Adriana Castro were killed. In tonight's call, McIntosh said Carmen was in his home at some point, but believes his brother-in-law was the one that allowed that to happen. You know, I didn't know that these people had just got done doing whatever that happened. I don't, I didn't know nothing about that. And it's not like I was opening my door or saying here, anybody who needs to hide is more than welcome to hide in my house. McIntosh believes he has proof that shows he wasn't involved. The night of the shooting and left a voicemail from my mom's house, so the number's right there. It shows that I was in Breathitt County. McIntosh has not been arrested yet. He says he's not hiding from the police. And during the call, he spotted an officer and became emotional. I don't want to go to jail for something I had nothing to do with. Is he coming to arrest you right now? Is that what's happening? No, I don't think so. It's just so scary. Covering the news, Carolina Buchek, LEX 18 News. Jessica Burton also faces the same charge as McIntosh. According to the jail website, neither one of them has been booked.